right. Mastocytosis, not a common disease, comes in a lot of different flavors. Uh, uh, you know, in the advanced form of uh, mastocytosis, which includes aggressive systemic mastocytosis, uh, systemic mastocytosis with an associated hemologic neoplasm or mast cell leukemia, these patients have a very limited uh, overall survival. And, and therapy with targeted approaches as the kit uh, mutation, specifically D816V, is seen in about 90 to 95% of these cases. Uh, mitostorin currently is the uh, uh, only FDA-approved agent, although other drugs are used like uh, uh, cladribine or interferon or other kinase inhibitors. Avapritinib targets the mutant form uh, of KIT, uh, and we've been able to show very rapid uh, responses with a, a very good safety profile in the advanced setting. Uh, we have another uh, uh, paper, an oral presentation that Dr. Gottlieb from Stanford is going to be presenting, uh, uh, showing very, very high uh, early response rates uh, that are also durable in all three of the subcategories for advanced systemic mastocytosis. Uh, and uh, we're hoping that this is going to, you know, uh, you know, in the near, in the near future, uh, going to be an improved agent uh, as an option for these uh, very sick patients. Uh, uh, in addition, uh, there's two posters being presented by Dr. Aiken uh, in. Uh, uh, indolent systemic mastocytosis, where there does not uh, currently exist any FDA-approved agent. These patients don't have the aggressive form. They don't have a lot of the uh, organ infiltration, if you will, but they are still having a lot of symptoms. And, uh, and what may be surprising is these patients are already on multiple supportive care uh, agents, but still having lots of symptoms that are uh, really mitigating their quality of life. And, and with the addition of low doses of abapritinib, we've been able to show in a randomized phase two fashion uh, improvements of uh, their uh, their quality of life and response. And so uh, there'll be an update uh, at ASH this year uh, in terms of the indolent systemic mastocytosis and then a, a trial in progress, which is a new category at ASH this year uh, for the randomized phase, uh, phase two study uh, that just started and is ongoing.